merciful and gracious God who will give us all the good things of life to enjoy. May his name be glorified. I welcome you today, wherever you are, in the Bible reading broadcast, as you told me, may the good Lord bless you. In Jesus' wonder walking in my bread. The book of the other apostles, chapter 13. Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simeon that was called Niger and Lucius of Cyrene and the Mahane which had been brought up with the herald the Tetrarch and Saul as they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, Separate me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work whereunto I have called them. And when they had fasted and prayed, and laid their hands on them, they sent them away. So they, being sent forth by the Holy Ghost, departed unto Seleucia, and from thence they sailed to Cyprus. And when they were at the Salamis, they preached the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews, and they had also turned to their minister. And when they had gone to the eye unto Pephos, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew, whose name was by Jesus, which was with the deputy of the country, such as Paulus, a prudent man who had called for Barnabas and Saul and desired to hear the word of God. But when Elimas, the sorcerer, for so is his name by interpretation, who stood them, seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith. Then Saul, who also is called Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost, set his eyes on him, and said, O oh, full of all subtlety, and all mischief, thou child of the devil, thou enemy of all righteousness, will thou not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord? And now, behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thee, and thou shalt be blind, not seeing the sun for a season. And immediately there fell on him a mist and a darkness, and he went about seeking some to lead him by the hand. Then the deputy, when he saw what was done, believed, being astonished, and the doctrine of the Lord. Now when Paul and his company loosed from Paphos, they came to Pega in Pamphylia, and John, departing from them, returned to Jerusalem. But when they departed from Pega, they came to Antioch in Pisidia, and went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and sat down. And after the reading of the law and the prophets, the rulers of the synagogue sent unto them, saying, Ye men and brethren, if you have any word of exhortation for the people, say on. Then Paul stood up and beckoning with his hand said, Men of Israel, and ye that fear God, gave audience. The God of this people of Israel, Jews our fathers, and exalted the people, when they dwelt as strangers in the land of Egypt, and with an high arm brought he them out of it. And about the time of forty years, suffered he their manners in the wilderness. And when he had destroyed 
and seven nations in the land of Canaan. He divided their land to them by lot. And after that, he gave unto them judges about the space of 450 years until Samuel the prophet. And afterward, they desired a king, and God gave unto them Saul, the son of Kis, a man of the tribe of Benjamin, by the space of forty years. And when he had removed him, he raised up unto them David to be their king, to whom also he gave testimony, and said, I have found David the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, which shall fulfill all my will. Of this man's seed had God, according to his promise, raised unto Israel a Savior, Jesus. When John had first preached before his coming, the baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John fulfilled his cause, he said, Who think ye that I am? I am not he, but behold, the uncommon one after me, whose shoes of his feet I am not worthy to lose. Men and brethren, children of the stock of Abraham, and whosoever among you fear a God, to you is the word of this salvation sent. For they that dwell at Jerusalem and their rulers, because they knew him not, nor yet the voices of the prophets which are read every Sabbath day, they have fulfilled them in condemning him. And though they found no cause of death in him, yet desired they partly that he should be slain. And when they had fulfilled all that was written of him, they took him down from the tree and led him in a sepulchre. But God raised him from the dead, and he was seen many days of them which came up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem, who are his witnesses unto the people. And we declare unto you glad tidings, how that the promise which was made unto the fathers God has fulfilled the same unto us, their children, in that he has raised up Jesus again, as it is also written in the second psalm, Thou art my son, did I have I begotten thee? And as concerning that he raised him all from the dead, now no more to return to corruption. He said on this wise, I will give you the sure mercies of David. Wherefore, he said also in another psalm, Thou shalt not suffer thy holy one to see corruption. For David, after he had served his own generation by the will of God, fell on sleep and was led unto his fathers and saw corruption. For he whom God raised again saw no corruption. Be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, that through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins. And by him all that believe are justified from all things from which you could not be justified by the law of Moses. Beware, therefore, lest that come upon you, which is spoken of in the prophets. Behold, ye despisers, and wonder, and perish.
For I walk and walk in your days, a walk which ye shall in no wise believe, though a man declare it unto you. And when the Jews were gone out to the synagogue, the Gentiles besought that these words might be preached to them the next Sabbath. Now, when the congregation was broken up, many of the Jews and religious proselytes followed Paul and Barnabas, who, speaking to them, persuaded them to continue in the grace of God. And the next Sabbath day came almost the whole city together to hear the word of God. But when the Jews saw the multitudes, they were filled with envy and spake against those things which were spoken by Paul, contradicting and blaspheming. Then Paul and Barnabas waxed bold and said it was necessary that the word of God should first have been spoken to you, but seeing he put it from you and judge yourselves unworthy of everlasting life, lo, we turn to the Gentiles. For so had the Lord commanded us, saying, I have set thee to be a light of the Gentiles, that thou shouldest be for salvation unto the ends of the earth. And when the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and glorified the word of the Lord, and as many as were ordained to eternal life believed. And the word of the Lord was published throughout all the region, but the Jews stirred up the devout and the honorable women and the chief men of the city and raised persecution against Paul and Barnabas, and I spared them out of their course. But they shook off the dust of their feet against them and kept unto Iconium. And the disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We have come to the end of the reading of the book of at Apostle chapter 13. May God bless you for the answer given to me. I want to tell you, remember, like my channel, subscribe, drop a comment, and download. May God bless you. Join me next time. Ooh, yeah. I am not afraid, yo. Hey.